Hey guys, I'm Rachel and today we are doing a smoky eyes. I've never done a smoky eyes on my channel before. So as usual, I'm going to prime my face and I'm using the NYX Control Drop Primer. I love to prime my face. It's a must. It creates a real nice base for my foundation over top. And I'm going to mix my LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. I'm mixing two shades to get my shade. And I'm first applying it with a flat foundation brush and I'm going to pounce that in my skin with a beauty sponge. Create a nice even layer and cover up all the discoloration and hyperpigmentation marks on my skin. I hate them so much. <laughs> so I lost the clip of me applying my highlights and my contour but the show goes on. I'm just using the side of my beauty sponge that has the, cons the uh, foundation on. I'm just meshing where the contour and the highlight meets. I have other videos where I'm, I'm applying my highlight and stuff like that. You can check that out. But yeah, the show has to continue. So I'm just blending out any creases from underneath my eyes and over my eyes and stuff like that. That may have happened before I actually go in to set my um, foundation. Because we don't want to set any creases. That's a no-no. Taking my Huda Beauty Powder in Blondie. This is my like fourth time using this powder and I packed away every other powder that I'm using. This powder is the bomb. I don't like the scent of it, but it is the bomb. It's so light and creates a nice smooth canvas. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Here yeah, I'm just baking the areas where I get oily because you know, the weather is changing and the oils are they're coming out to play. <laughs> now for the eyes, I'm using my Shayla and color pop proceed with caution palette and i'm starting with the color maintenance on a blending brush i'm taking it from the outside the outer corners of my eyes all the way to the inner corners of my eyes i'm packing it on and then i'm blending windshield wiper motions and when there's not no product or hardly any product left in my brush i'm using small circular motions to buff it and blend the edges even more Smoky eyes takes time, it takes building and blending. I'm always saying that you have to be patient whenever you're doing an eye look, especially smoky eyes. So I'm building up that color. This is gonna act as my transition shade until I get the pigment that I want. Back and forth and circular motions. Then I'm taking the color Cautionless Yellow with a very small blending brush and I'm just applying it right where the color diffuses. Just to add a little something to it, it's not too much, but it does add some dimension to the look. Now I'm taking the color gloves on with um, a small uh, shadow brush and I'm packing that color on all the way to my crease. I'm pressing it on my lid. I'm not wiping and swiping, I'm pressing and packing it on all the way to my crease. Then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush because it's more precise and I'm going to blend the edges of the gloves on color into maintenance to create more gradient. It's all about blending. I have the cold you guys if my voice sounds bad because <laughs> of the cold. Then I'm going back in with that first blending brush. I'm blending again and then I'm going to intensify the yellow also. That's all what it is about. Here, whenever you blend your colors, sometimes they tend to lose the pigment. So here I'm just packing on the color again. That happens a lot with matte colors. They lose their pigment when they blend. So you always have to blend and pack them on. And I'm taking this, this um, wet and wild liquid um, eyeshadow in the color, what's the color? Gun metal. And I'm just packing that on over the color with a flat synthetic brush. And I'm pressing it all the way up to my crease and I'm gonna slightly open my eyes and make sure I'm getting it over my crease because I've mentioned I do have a slightly hooded eye so I want to be able to see the shadows when my eyes are open so that's what I'm doing and I'm just gently blending it into the transition shades simple really simple <laughs> taking the ColourPop um, color pants and I'm applying it to the inner corners of my eyes it's a gel cream gel color I'm going over top of that with a pigment and this is gonna help the pigment to pop even more um, the pigment is uh, the water bearer I'm just gonna apply that to the inner corners of my eyes and sort of drag it in like quarter ways um, to the bottom of my lashes now I'm using my Morphe 
liner in black and I'm filling in my waterline and my lashes with that black. I don't want to see any spaces. I want it filled in to be very, very black. And I'm taking that color again, gloves on, and I'm going to set that cream. It's very important to set your creams whenever... Um, it's very important to set your cream shadows with a powder. It makes it last better and keeps it from moving throughout the day. So that's exactly what I'm doing. After I'm going back in with the maintenance color on a very small blending brush and I'm going to buff the edges out and sort of bring it lower. I like a really nice diffuse smoky bottom lash. If you don't like that, you don't have to do it, but it's my preference. I don't like anything looking too harsh. Now moving back onto the face, I'm using my ebony bronzer from CoverGirl and I'm bronzing up my face to add some color and dimension back into my face, sharpen that jawline and also my forehead. Then I'm going to add some contour to my nose. I'm using my Kiss Mineral Mineral Powder. Adding some colors to my cheek. I'm using my Elf Quad. I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. Setting everything in place with my NYX Matte Setting Spray. Setting my brows as well. We cannot not set our brows. And I like to do that when my, my um, setting spray is drying because I'm not making any expressions or anything on my face. Now I'm lining my lip with BFF3 lip liner from Colourpop. Then I'm applying this Remel Stay Matte lipstick in the color Love Bite. I'm going to line again with a darker brown lip liner. It's BFF4 from Colourpop. Just to create more dimension, more ombre, make my lips look fuller. And I'm going to top that off with Fenty Gloss Bomb, the original one. And that's for the lips. Now that my face is set, I always like to go with my highlight after my face is set when there's moisture back into my face. And I'm using my Armory Z highlight to apply the highlights in strategic areas on my face and I'm going to top that off with my Shayla and Colourpop highlight in Booming as well. It's a loose one. I just love doing that using two highlights like that. The different shades of gold and they complement my, my skin tone very well. So I'm using that brush to sort of blend it in so that it's not too harsh. I'm going to apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes because I'm going to use my Ardell lashes in 3d mink um i don't remember the name of the style but yep smoky eyes like that needs lashes <laughs> magic <laughs> and that's a completed look thank you so much for watching thank you for the support and i'll see you in my next tutorial on sunday everything would always be in the description box